Hi, my name is Wendy. I'm joined by Sheila Andreen and Don Butler. Sheila is the CEO and co-founder of IndieFlix. Don is the lead professional learning specialist at Learner's Edge. We've got two courses that um, feature films by IndieFlix, Anxiety Awareness, Empowering Students with Help and Hope, and Exploring the Impact of Social Media. Dawn, can you talk to me a little bit about why we would pair a film with a course for continuing education for teachers? Well, with knowledge comes power, right? So if you have these two films that are incredibly um, well done in terms of offering strategies and really keeping things on more of the neutral to positive side about these two very diff difficult subject matters, I mean, social media not a lot of people outside of a certain generation are really engaged constantly with it. And then with angst, um, 73, for instance, 73% of teenagers think that anxiety is a really big problem um, in their lives. And so, I, and we're seeing it even more with COVID really. Um, and so having that as an anchor, have, having Sheila's films as an anchor to both of those courses has really um, not only just brightened up our courses with all of that new learning and the new look and the way that she produces these movies too. They're very clean, very straightforward. Um, it was a joy to write these courses because it, it's great information and personal connections. It's It would be ridiculous to pass that up. <laughs> Sheila, tell me, what, what do you think about pairing your work with, uh, with a course or what other opportunities are there to, to extend the experience of viewing angst or the like movie? Well, you know, it's interesting. These films are only viewed in community. Like they're not up on Netflix or even IndieFlix, our own platform, because I recognize the power of having a conversation yes. immediately following the, the um, screening. And my whole idea was that existing communities, in other words, people who already know each other, would watch the film, witness each other watching it or experience each mm -hmm. other watching it, having a conversation which really sort of breaks the ice and models having the conversation within their own community. And then as parents, students and teachers do, they start sharing even more information or resources. To have these conversations on these incredibly timely and important topics is great, we can come in, we can reach the masses, we can create a feeling, we can share a lot of information and model a lot of how to have conversation. But the real power is in after that, the action forward, whether it's for students, whether it's for educators or whether it's for parents, we won't be able to scale and sustain that scale um, if we don't have those action items after. And so that's why, honestly, the courses it's it's the perfect marriage and it's the right thing to do. It's the most responsible thing to do. Sheila, you should actually talk about the first question you ask at, at an angst discussion. Oh yeah. Um, so having had, you know, we've, I mean, I think angst has had over 10,000 community screenings in schools and now corporations and organizations spanning 90 countries. And I will tell you that the number one asked question in every Q and A, and for the last year or two, I was traveling on a plane and all over the place in person. Uh, now we do them online. But the first question is, how do I know if someone, whether it's a student, colleague, friend, family, in my life, just has extreme anxiety or an actual anxiety disorder? And mm -hmm. you know that is—it's interesting because we talk about it throughout the film. But that is the number one question. And the second one is, how do you talk to someone who is clearly struggling? And this goes for angst and like who's mm -hmm. clearly struggling, whether it's with anxiety or with just not being able to be away from their phone, how do you talk to them when they won't talk to you? Mm -hmm. And so that's the second one. So, I mean, there's just, it's really, it's, and I will tell you as much as I get asked that question all the time, sometimes four times a day in front of a large audience, the conversation is always really engaging and, and, and like, it feels good to have that conversation. Well, she actually she actually does this thing where she says, anybody raise your hand if you or someone you know has um, anxiety. And- Well, I don't say has anxiety, but I'll say raise your hand if someone you- Right. If you or someone you know has ever felt the negative impacts of anxiety or an anxiety- There you go, yep. 
And I would say 99% of hands go up and it is one of the most powerful feelings. I always get a little moved to like, I feel very like <gasps> overwhelmed, um, but the, it creates this moment of solidarity that we are not alone, that we are, that we are in this together. Mm -hmm. Well, Dawn and Sheila, I'll say that the questions you've raised here will definitely prompt good educators like me to get involved with the course. And uh, we'll share that the course offers information about arranging for a screening. So all of the things we're talking about right now and discussions around these critical questions are at your fingertips. And we will look forward to seeing you at a screening or we'll see you in class. Thank you, Sheila and Dawn. Thank you.